her appearance at a Brett Michaels concert surprised many, including the Stanton County Sheriff. The last time he saw her, Candace Murphy was unconscious and near death. Now, a week and a half out of the hospital, and Murphy talked to the media for the very first time. Her beanie covers the physical scars from June 16th. The emotional wounds cannot be hidden. It just blew us away. I was supposed to be walking to my mom's house because we were supposed to go in the basement and we got hit. And all I remember was, you know, a month later when I woke up and they scanned everything, I woke up. Candace Murphy has no recollection of the night tornadoes ripped apart her small town. We got put in the ambulance. They thought we were gone, 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 like dead. She never saw the immediate damage or the burial of her five-year-old daughter, Callista Dixon. No, they didn't tell me until I woke up. For three weeks, Murphy stayed comatose. Then, against all odds, she awoke and to a new life. What she left behind no longer existed. It's, it's sad that I couldn't save her. It's sad that I couldn't like fix and okay. deal with everything. I'm dealing with it now. While Pilger residents have healed for two months, every site is new to Murphy. The town she once called home is unrecognizable. Pilger lost a lot. I mean, we did. <laughs> It's like a totally different town. With an unclear past and uncertain future, Murphy's only focus, her surviving daughter, four-year-old Robin. Yeah, the other sister lived and made it, which is wonderful. Last night, Candy was smiling quite a bit. It's the first time she and many others were able to enjoy a summer evening without worries. Now, Candy and her family did not want to talk about the treatment she is receiving, but she is anxious to find her own place. Reporting live, Rebecca at KMTV Action 3 News. Incredible.